up a little bit of pizza. Also needed to get one of these so I can trim out the ceilings and more painter's tape. And fun fact, the K9, I let him out and he pulled the painter's tape from right there. So that's something that I'm gonna have to think about as well when furniture starts coming. He didn't really chew on what I had before, but I'm just making sure that we break him of that because I was not expecting that when I came back home. Okay, <laughs> just finished trimming or edges or you know what I'm saying. I just finished the second coat for all of that. I did make a decision while I was painting um, because it looks amazing in here. Like it's absolutely spectacular. Um, in the kitchen, I did trim out this back wall in the kitchen. You can kind of see it there. But I decided that I'm not gonna finish painting in there because I'm gonna do a wallpaper moment on there. And there's no point in painting and wallpapering if I can just put wallpaper up. Um, oops, so I'm going to leave that. I am, set this down. I am now finally about to start using the big stuff. Which are very excited because the space already looks amazing. The lounge was the most transformed because I used the brush in there in order to get in between the windows and things like that. And so this space um, looks a little like it hasn't had as much of a transformation, but that's just because there's not as much color in the wall in this space. But it is coming now. Um, it's definitely. It's turning into maybe a three-day project. in the kitchen and one of my main goals is to get my kitchen and my bathroom like functional and um, cooking in a new space is very different than cooking in my old space so surprisingly there's been a lot of things in the way that I initially set things up that didn't work and so I'm changing a lot of that um, figuring out my cleaning routines and such and so what I'm gonna do right now is make myself some pinto beans in the background while I am cooking and, or excuse me, while I'm cleaning and like thinking through the organization and stuff like that. So you are more than welcome to watch that unfold. These are just, so these are beans that I soaked overnight. It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been a minute. wanted to pop on really quick so my two occasional chairs came in this chair came in and it had a few imperfections and so I am sending it back to the manufacturer and they are sending a new chair with to me so I'm just rewrapping and getting it all stuck in there as I was I woke up this morning and I was just like okay we got to put this together because tomorrow the FedEx UPS people will be here to pick it up and we need to make sure that it's all packed up. Um, and as soon as they scan this chair in, then my replacement chair will be on the way because I don't, yeah. And I'm excited about that, which is a big deal because 
the imperfections are small enough to where I potentially could have kept it, but I'm trying to learn how to receive things that are without flaw, I guess. Um, I don't know how to say that, but I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to indulge in that. So it took me a little bit. I never took the tags off and I kept the box because I wanted to return it, but it took me quite a while to actually call and get it all returned. So I am excited about that. Good morning. It is Sunday on Sundays. I clean my house. So, um, let's get started with cleaning. start the day actually now that I'm seeing it on camera it doesn't look as bad but I wanted to start my day I've had a couple meetings chatted with a couple friends one of the things that I wanted to do today is clean out my bathroom cabinets before I um, get organizing stuff and so I am cleaning out this is low I'm cleaning out my makeup drawer because I feel like I don't really I'm not super duper duper into makeup and I brought a lot of makeup stuff over that I'm just not using. So I'm going to clean out my makeup drawer before I buy more makeup products, which means I'm going to be putting makeup on my face then washing my face and putting makeup on my face to try it out. I'm going to do that in between um, meetings or not meetings, but in between admin for today because uh, Mondays are an admin day. I know I have to wear that. Um, Mondays are an admin day. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to try out these because I don't like just having stuff just for the sake of having it. So this is a NARS matte bronzer. I don't really know how to wear bronzer. But, um, and I'm also gonna change out the light, the, the paint color in my bathroom and the light in my bathroom because my bathroom is only like two thirds useful because one third of the bathroom is used for like getting dressed and stuff like that in the morning. And I think because there's not a natural light source in here and because of that light, like I can't use this for doing my makeup, which means a third of the reason why I have a bathroom, I'm not using it for that. And I don't wanna do a vanity in my principal room. I don't wanna do my makeup in my office hey there i don't want to do my makeup anywhere else um i want to do it in my bathroom so i will be changing out this color and the light fixture to um, make it more useful for now i'm gonna put this on my face just to see how it feels um some of this i'm doing for color some of this i'm doing for do i break out some of this i'm doing just to see um, this is a bronzer i'm gonna bronze up my face See how I feel. I had already put some makeup on earlier today. Um, oh, this is actually really cute. Okay, so this, I'm gonna keep this even though I'm putting, I'm putting on a lot because I wanna be able to see whether or not I like it. Um, but this is pretty, this is a really pretty color. I don't know if it's too red, but again, it's really, really hard to see in here. So I'm gonna take it to, ooh, I like the way that it feels. I like NARS products in general. So in terms of the feeling test, it feels fine and then in terms of the feeling test it feels fine but let's see I don't know if this if I'm super super red or um, if it's bronzed up in a really really pretty way so let me go to some light and you have to take the bronze without taking into consideration the other makeup because I have other makeup on um, right now too oh look at that that is a really pretty <laughs> Oh, that's really pretty. 
That is a gorgeous, I mean, you could just wear it on your, it's own. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Okay, obviously I'm gonna keep that. It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna do some work in the office for a little bit. It's funny as I'm like putting more makeup on my face because I started with just foundation. I did like half of my face in, um, I did half of my face in, let me see, get you guys a little centered, sorry. Um, I did half of my face in, uh, oh, so high. Can I get this down any lower? Oh, I'm not taking you guys off this tripod. I don't think we'll be even, but okay, that works. So, and this is just the natural light coming in from the side. I don't want to turn on my big light yet, but I did half of my face in the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy. 360 and then half of my face in the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I prefer the Matte and Poreless over the Dewy in terms of the formula for the foundation. Um, so that's good to know because I kept thinking that I would do the switch up winter to spring, but, or excuse me, winter to summer, but that's not a thing. I like the way that my face looks in a very specific way. So I was able to figure that out. So I have that one. Um, I have two different concealers on. I have like four different brow makeups on right now, um, two different blush. Um, and again, I'm trying to, and I have on two different primers and I have on one setting spray. So I'm trying to see how all of this stuff wears um, throughout the day. Immediately, anything that irritates my skin is just a no. So one of these primers is just a complete no because it irritates my skin. I feel like it makes my face look a little bit swollen and I don't like that. Um, but those are the two things I'm looking for because again, I am reaching for things naturally and I rather just stock up on what I'm reaching for than having the appearance of a whole bunch of things that I'm not really using. Even though I have a ton of storage, I want to, um, use my storage intentionally, um, and make space for the humans and that I have in my life and make space for myself in a really, really beautiful way. Um, so that said, that's what's happening with the makeup. I wanna just narrow that down to what I'm actually using. And you know, I just don't like to be wasteful. And I know I could have done this before I left my old home, but I think that there's something about moving into a new space that gives you sight lines on what you've been carrying with you. And now that I have those sight lines, I wanna go ahead and clean that up. And I wanna kind of organize my bathroom into his and hers, but also I want to have like my everyday stuff and then my travel stuff and then like my sometimes stuff. Like I have enough drawers to kind of make that happen. And then I have linen closet built into my bathroom and I want to have that, like I just want things to be very, very functional. Now that I have space um, to indulge in function over um, storage, I really want to be able to do that. So. So yeah, that's that. And I guess now I'm gonna, gonna get to work. Okay, so I just finished my first two coaching clients and changed. I'm about to wash my face because I am going to get a facial and I have been wanting this facial for a very long, long time. My pores are very, very clogged and I just, I'm really looking forward to this facial. So I'm about to wash my face so that it can be prepped. I need to buy a hat so that that way I'm not exposing myself to the sun when I come out. This is the most that I'll be able to do. Um, but I'm very excited about this facial. Um, yeah, I guess I will take you guys with me. This is my first time working with this technician, so I won't record it, but I guess I will show you guys my face before and after the facial. Well, let me go wash it. Puppy. Okay, so I'm waking up this morning. I'm super excited. Yesterday, I um, went thrifting and originally I went thrifting because I wanted to just find some, uh, vases and just different 
um, serving ware things. So this is like a nice serving plate. And I saw two gold chargers, which I know I can find more of these, but I want to kind of find a table setting for eight for my dining room for Christmas. So I just really wanted to go in and find stuff like this. And then this is just some extra bowls. But what I ended up finding and like turned into the most amazing thing in all the land is I did this crazy amazing book haul and I got 31 books, 31 books. So that's amazing in and of itself. And you guys know I love hardcover books. So some of these books are replacements for books that I have. But like, for example, this is a hardcover book of one of my favorite books, um, Love and Respect. But like, look how it's in amazing condition. And then even right there, I have the Malcolm Gladwell um, library. So I say all that to say, I'm very excited. I'll do a separate book haul to show you guys what books I got. Even here, this is like a stack of novels. Um, and this is a pretty recent novel. So, um, but I'll do a separate video where I talk about that. What I wanna talk about is, okay, so I just finished Clint. Oh, and I also got some Birkenstocks and a couple um, fall, easy fall finds. But what's really amazing about all of these books, first of all, I was excited. I found 31 books for about $93. Most of them, if not all of them, are hardback. But then, as I was cleansing my books, right? I'm cleansing my books, and so I'm doing all the things, and I'm wiping them down, and then as I'm cleansing them, I'm always flipping through them like this. And I was flipping through this one, and that happened! <laughs> a whole $100. I found a whole hundred dollars inside of this book. And here's the thing, I was already excited just because I found all these amazing heart. I mean, look at this. I mean, I don't, this is the tipping point in softback, but look at this, basically brand new condition, all of Malcolm Gladwell's books, right? Just those three, just these three, maybe four books alone, getting those in hardback back would have cost a hundred bucks. But I got all of this and when I opened this up, I ended up with a hundred dollars. Like, I can't even, I can't even begin to tell you how freaking excited I am for this book haul. Like, I found some amazing, amazing things. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm amazing. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Oh, there you go. Hi. Hi, how are you? I am so amazing. This is so exciting. I saw your YouTube videos, and at, one, at the end of one of your videos, it was like, if you want a consultation, go to the site. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh, yes, so. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm glad to know you are um, into this, and uh, um, it's a uh, you know, some people don't understand, but nowadays a lot of people are aware of the energy. Oh, yeah. so I'm glad you know you'll reach out to me. Yes, absolutely. I'm very excited as well. So, and, uh, um, somehow I, I don't think I hear from this. Oh, oh, it's just coming like, in through the computer. From the, from the computer. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, well, no. uh -huh. let's see. Okay, okay. I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, um, so yes. So, is this your entrance right now? Yes. This is so. If you were coming in from the front door, this is what you would see initially. Do you want me to kind of give you a quick tour and then we kind of talk about it, or how do you want to? Like go outside where you walk in. Show me. Okay. Give me this one second. Let me change my. Let me grab some yeah, shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Like from the from the from the door, from the front door, you can see the front Okay. Do you want me to face the camera this way towards me or to turn it around? Face the camera out. So okay. you walk towards your house. Okay. So from outside, you walk in and be see it. I love what you said about the idea of like feeling cornered. What I think is interesting based off what you said is that like, let me turn this around. So. You can put a phone down somewhere and sit, you know, we can like go through this a little bit, talk about because. Oh, okay. Can, like a really, you can get a note, to put down, sit down. We can like go. Okay, through. we can really chat. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So I kind of put it at a little bit, but I feel like it's darker in that corner. I put it at a little bit of an angle, but I'll go here. Okay, so what I think is interesting about what you said in terms of feeling cornered um, is that like, when I look at the entryway, how there's like this square and then it opens up to the hallway and then there's uh -huh. like, when it opens up to the hallway, there's like this straight shot of like beaming light and like all this awesomeness. And I feel like in terms of my career, um, and I know I just recently got into this um, home, but one of the things that I wanted was more visibility, but I wanted it to be more consistent, but I wanted it to be something that I could handle. Oh, I, I have been, for the last four years, I've been working part-time, and a part of the reason I chose to work part-time is to help sort of balance that explosion of awesomeness and then my retreat. Um, but I'm, I'm open to working full-time if I can maintain the balance in my, my family, romantic, personal life, and the ambition of my business. And like now, with my son being 19, he's almost 20, like when he comes to the house, like he's here, but it's, but you know, soon he'll have his own place. This isn't necessarily where I'm trying to create another like home for us. It's more so like, this is my home now. So it's like, it can be, but I still want there to be a balance of like, you know, I'm a mom, but I just happen to be a mom of an adult child. So it's like, it's like, there's this, I, I think around my career, there's like this fear that if I go full time or if I start another business or if I do anything to grow, then I'm going to take away from the family relationship balance stuff that I want. So because you work from home, so you want to have a both the like you know you want to come home to feel comfortable and but then you also it's your workspace it's kind of a <laughs> it, it's like a um it's interesting portion of it and um so based on your let's talk about your love life all right In your in your living room, close to that, uh, where you put a couch, whatever there is, that is your um, I call the marriage area of your house, right there. So in there, forget about your son squeezed like a uh, sleeping there, and more of for you. Do you want to create an environment where you can invite a guy over there? It's actually right behind that the couch. There's a wall there. And we were either gonna put um, a decorative mirror, or we were gonna do sort of like a uh, like a little gallery wall of family pictures. Uh -huh. But now that I know that that's my marriage area, I will put art there, and maybe even switch out um, this art that I have there. Let me, oops, I'll get hang up. I'll show you this art that I have okay. in that area now. Um, uh, here we go. So. I love these two paintings. Um, it's sort of like an abstract of a little girl and then an abstract of an adult woman. Oh, but if, that's cute. But I don't, but if so, if this section here you're saying is my marriage area, do you think nice. that this art is inappropriate for this area? Because it's kind of like the evolution of like girl to woman. I don't know if that is very <laughs> like relationship romantic you have if you have another picture of a man and a woman <laughs> okay okay yeah you know like you could have um another set of this kind of painting with a man in it okay like you know a boy to like a, a girl to a woman a boy to a man yeah gotcha gotcha you, you know like that way um it, it's a then you give a, that interdependent relationship because uh -huh, right now this is very independent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is so amazing. Is this not the most amazing thing that you have ever like? I just think this is incredible that like you even even in your art choices, like everything we do, we're like always we don't realize what we're saying, but we're saying the same thing all the time. Like that is amazing. Like I got it. I got it. So so this was the wall that I was thinking about doing a gallery wall of family pictures. Or um, we were either going to do a gallery wall of family pictures, or there was a mirror that was going to go here. 
Um, uh, you but, could do, uh, yeah, you could do like a family pictures, you know, and then in a later time, you know, um, you have to put like a, the, okay, so if you decide to put a family pictures there, that's good too, because family is important to you. Yeah. That's good. I love that. So that's what, that's what, um, so I'll think, so I'll think that through. So making, but in not doing a mirror there. No, because a mirror is just going to reflect either the emptiness or it's going to double the people here. Right. And so then he'll <laughs> be involved with someone. I'll be I got it. I got it. I'm picking up what you're putting <laughs> down. Right. I have a super independent woman wall. And then if I put a mirror here, it's just going to reflect. OK, yes, I got it. Got it. I love that. OK. Yes. Like without me knowing that that's what these spaces were intuitively when I was getting the space decorated I was creating like separate spaces for other things right so like I in my mind I'm like because I have a lounge that's where me and my girl like my friends will have drinks and we'll talk but yes. I I never imagined us like sitting on the couch and having drinks and talking like I was like no 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 that's for the lounge but it's fascinating that intuitively there was a, a pulling away from that area for that activity. I'm like, and I, this is what I told my interior designer. I was like, which I think is super funny that you said it's my marriage area. And I was like, I want a couch that is big enough for me to make out on. That's how we'll know it's the right one. <laughs> that's and what I'm talking about. Like, really? I was like, yep. I was like, that's the criteria. I was like, I don't want a small couch. I don't want an uncomfortable couch. I was like, I want a couch that I can make out on and I can just curl up and I can like, snuggle up and watch a movie there's enough room if i'm reading on one corner and he's doing something else and she's like you really want to make out couch i said yeah i want a huge massive so i think it's interesting <laughs> that like without me knowing that that was the area of my house that that is still the desire that informed my decision because like we could have turned the sunroom into anything we could have turned you know we could have sort of decorated any sort of way but when I was telling her my intentions for the home, the fact that we selected things that match what you're saying now, I just think it's so fascinating. And then for you, you have a place to lounge, you have a place to relax, and you mm -hmm. have a place to to make out, you have a place to sleep, you have a place to work. So question now come to your career. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, this is so good, yes. Okay. Uh, how much we want to go after? <laughs> that is the question. How much do we want to go after? You could go highest you can go. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. understand that you have all the area of supporting you to be the stars mm -hmm. you're going to be. Okay. So, so now thinking about in the in the area, a mirror on there to show how beautiful you are, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, like, that's a good thing to have. I like that big mirror. Mm -hmm. One of the mirrors in there, like the one you look at yourself every day, it goes out, it comes in, but not directly at the, the mirror. It's not a reflecting to anyone, but the more of like you, before you go out, okay. you want to kind of a last time to re-examine yourself. It's like, all right, beautiful okay. woman, ready to go. No, gotcha. so that, that is okay. And so now the question is in the Korea, how do we want, so you want to put a light, um, uh, words, inspiration mm -hmm. words or, mm -hmm. pictures or something mm -hmm. there. So, so what like my secret <laughs> career desire is like, I want to be iconic, but I feel like because of the instability of like doing something big and then being so drained, I'm like, but can I handle being iconic? But I guess hearing you say that if every, if all my other stuff is balanced and taken care of, then yes, I want to be iconic. Like when I think about icons, like I think about how like Beyonce is iconic, but she has a family, she has a husband, she has a career, she has her extended family, like her mom and her sisters and her cousin, like she has a very well balanced life. And so like when she's out on tour, She's like Beyonce when she's out on tour. She's dropping an album. It's amazing. 
but it's never to the detriment of any of the other stuff that she has going on. So if I was thinking about like my career, like that's what I want. I want to be iconic. Like, okay, put a something iconic in there to remind <laughs> you. <laughs> so like, like if I did like a wallpaper or something, that's pretty iconic or like, so I do have an autograph copy or an autograph photo of Beyonce. Hold on. I know that put it out there. That's she's your oh. model. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, and it's funny because like right now I have it in the closet for no reason at all. There's no reason for it to be in the closet, but this would make sense in this area. Yeah. And see, I don't know. I felt like it would be weird to put Beyonce in the entryway, but not put my family in the entryway. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. Put her up. (laughs) Okay. All right. Okay. I will put her up. Okay. This is so exciting. This is, I'm I'm nervous. Just even just seeing her in here, I'm like, holy smokes. (laughs) Okay. Feel the energy. Feel the energy. I feel it. (laughs) Let the fear go. All right. Because there's something hits you. Like, take a deep breath and feel that energy and uh, visualize you capable of doing that and what's hold you back of that little fear it's already taken care of it every other part of the room is help you taking care of it what else it's it's in your it's it's only is the imaginations in your right right belief system okay that makes sense all right, this is this feel, is feel that feel that energy. I feel it. <laughs> it's, so, it's interesting, even just having the picture in the closet. Like, why do I have it in the closet? Because it, it's interesting how you were saying earlier in the call. You're like that closet's right there, almost like you're hiding something or <laughs> whatever. Could she be talking about? Maybe you're hiding your autograph picture of Beyonce. Maybe I you're know you want to be iconic. <laughs> maybe you're hiding the level I'm like oh I just want to be able to not fall apart when I do something amazing no you want to be iconic and you're afraid to say it okay all right I'm gonna I'm taking that in <laughs> go there see if uh, just right now see if it's fit like hold it up there or yeah, like hold it up know? there just to see if it's fit. okay let's see oh it's a little bit heavy holy smokes it feels amazing that is insane oh my gosh hold it there hold it there feel the energy your phone's fine <laughs> oh my gosh this is the most insane thing i've ever <laughs> feel that i oh. feel the energy too let it pass let no. it pass what? I felt it too. Oh my gosh. What in the world? <laughs> that is uh, okay. All right. Okay. I like I'm shaking. Like I'm I'm shaking. This is so intense. <laughs> it's like with just a picture, but this is amazing. That's, That's you. Amazing. Your energy. You're you're working through your your processing through your energy right now. Let it feel it. Feel it. So I did in. not know that much was wrapped in a picture or like mm-hmm. a replacement of something. Like I mean, I, I for, from there's a certain level of uh, understanding because like as a speaker, we're working with so much energy in the room and like you know talking to ten people versus a thousand. Like I get it from that perspective, but I just. Holy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is definitely going here. This is definitely, I get it. I get it, I get it. It's, oh, it's so interesting because when I initially had this out, um, I wanted it, I thought I wanted it in my office. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like I just like, you know how like you like, um, I, I don't know. You, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Whew. Like it feels almost like as exhilarating as it does when I like just get off stage. Like that's almost how it feels. Like I just it's a said what I came to say. 
okay. <laughs> and it's amazing that you have stuff in your home. You don't even have to buy. This is mind blowing. Um, that's crazy. That like I already own iconic things, which makes sense because that's what I want, right? Like it makes sense yes. that things that speak to what I want. And I just, man, we are some complicated, fascinating creatures. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. And even if I did do like some sort of like wallpaper, some, some, but it's not even really about that. Like it's, yeah, okay.